kid. Seriously. Oh. Hey, Luke. Hey, what? Do you remember The Incredibles from way back then? I guess. At long last, they're coming out with a sequel, and said sequel has a trailer. You seen it? I have. Everyone, every adult's favorite Pixar movie that I found unremarkable. Well, yeah, The, the Incredibles always depressed me too, but it's for a different reason. It's because it reminds me about Fantastic Four and how they Pixar can do a decent Fantastic Four movie and nobody else can, and that saddens me. And that's bullshit because Rise of the Silver Surfer is fantastic, especially when they take Reed Richards out on his bachelor party and he disco dances with his wobbly arms. I feel like you don't have the same investment in the Fantastic Four that I do. But let's not make this about the Fantastic Four. Let's get back to the movie at hand, The Incredibles. I think I'm actually going to see this one, and part of the reason is I really identify with it. Some of those people out on the alt-right are all upset because the dad's staying home with the kid and the wife is going out and, like, superheroing. But if you remember, that was my life when Boom was a baby. I was a Being in the alt-right? Day. No, but was, was staying at home with my kid. I could identify with it because uh, having a crazy child and that's, you know, Granted, she didn't have laser bolts coming out of her eyes, but I do feel she was very close to bursting into flames a couple of times. Miles Tellers was way too old to be at that science fair. He was like 35, and all those other kids were like in sixth grade. Here's what I will say is, is there ever, if you've ever read a Fantastic Four comic, you wanted to punch Reed Richards in the face. And Miles Teller is the actor who everyone would most likely want to punch in the face. I think it's perfect casting. Sold. (laughs) Sold.